The students have uh, really enjoyed having the laptops. Uh, the first time that I brought them into the classroom, all their faces lit up and they were super excited to have their very own laptops on their desks um, and just get to interact with them. They thought they were really more like mature big kids um, that had to uh, use the technology in their classroom. So I think it um, instantly activated and engaged them in their learning um, and they were excited to actually do the project that we were using. They of course love going to the computer lab too but having them in their own classroom really added an additional engagement um, that we didn't have before. It kind of tells you that we're doing something fun. Yeah, it, and like it kind of tells you, like, whoopee! Hooray! We get a computer! I like that they're easy to type in so the teacher can understand your handwriting when you're doing tests. I like it because it kind of helps us get research about uh, topics we're doing for, like, a presentation or something. I like them because I'm able to do okay. reading and well, mo main, mostly get information from just my desk and get text teachers and do special graphs that I'd like to do. The extra laptops, my class had some for a while. They were helpful. We did a writing test on them so we could type it out and it was much e easier for my teacher to understand it because some of our handwriting, including mine, isn't that good. So the laptop carts were definitely helpful. We were doing a history project where we had to make a poster and we typed everything out on the laptops and it made it way easier. And a huge part of technology in Issaquah is part of our mission of preparing students for a dynamic global environment. And although just using tablets for um, their learning now and using laptops for their learning now may look different in their world. Exposing them to those different types of technology throughout their day, even our Active Inspire that PTSA helps support, the laptop carts that we have that you've heard about, um, working towards tablets to create that um, across curriculum resources for all students was so beneficial and so exciting. This technology is definitely going to have a huge impact on kiddos being able to reach those goals and reach further. We love So this is our book room that we have here at Grand Ridge and it is such an asset for all of us. It helps us teachers help the children. Here we have all these different levels. We have fiction and nonfiction, and right from, from level A, which is uh, just very, very beginning, all the way through to level C. The three main things that we uh, find in enrichment is this book room. We have reading club where the children who are not yet at grade level get extra help uh, four days a week. And we also get um, new this year is every new teacher got a starter library for their classroom. So very important tools. We could expand this library and of course you know we're a really big school so we have a lot of classrooms and we need a lot of books. We have children in every classroom that, at various levels. So you can see some of our boxes are nice and full, some of them are not so full and we would love to pump that up so we can offer our kids more um, reading materials at their level. I'm Jennifer Houghton, I'm a second grade teacher here at Grand Ridge and today I'd like to talk to you about the arts program that's sponsored by PTSA. We're so grateful as teachers to have this available to us and to our students. Once a month they come in and lead a project. We have um, parent volunteers and the kids get exposure to uh, different mediums, different styles of art and then they get a little background on the artist that's inspired the project. The kids love it, teachers love it, and speaking as a parent who also has a student um, at Issaquah, I'll tell you a lot of papers and a lot of things come home at the end of the day and to be truthful the things that the only things I keep are the art projects um, they are uh, a memoir that you won't be able to replicate and the arts I love it because the kids discover things about themselves while they're doing art they find a hidden talent um, they challenge themselves 
there's so much to be gained from the arts and I feel so fortunate that we have this program. Um, to think if we didn't have this program, I'm not sure um, if we would be keeping the arts alive. So I'm so grateful. Thank you PTSA for keeping the arts alive in our schools. And thank you parents for your support. We just finished an art project which was African masks. That was one of my favorites so far. My favorite art project is, well, wow. I like all of them. They're really, really fun. Yeah, me too. I like lots of them. My favorite art class was, mine was the clay owl. Yeah, we do. Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm from the Grand Ridge PTSA. So you've heard about what we plan to do with the funds raised tonight for technology, enrichment, and the arts. And the last letter of our team up is M. And M is for math. And this year, um, our district has been reviewing math curriculums and we will have a brand new math curriculum at Grand Ridge next year. If we are able to help support the staff to ramp up on that new math curriculum, it will truly serve each student at every level of learning in the classroom. So we hope that tonight when you give, you keep in mind that we can help to truly boost our staff's learning and to be able to reach every student as they learn the new math curriculum. When Elisa and I, my co-chair, were brainstorming themes, she came up with the idea of Team Up, and that is what your dollars will be supporting tonight. Every student at Grand Ridge needs you to be part of this team, and we are so glad that you're here. Please remember to give big and know that each student at Grand Ridge is experiencing the generosity of your gifts. We love Grand Ridge! Thank you! Go team! We love Grand Ridge! Thank you so much to everyone that has worked so hard for team and contributing and supporting and planning for this event and beyond. It goes beyond anything you could possibly imagine for the impact in our classroom.